done? Okay, it's my turn. Oh good grief, I don't think this tree is worth it. <laughs> but let's play with the monsters. Okay, I've changed my mind. I definitely want to kill them. Got him! Yes, 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 I got him. Well, good morning, and welcome back to Valheim, where we are discovering the world and, well, building, exploring, and hopefully killing some bosses. So, a very dear friend of mine joined me in my world recently, and between the two of us, we made a few capital improvements to the base. So, we're going to take a quick look at it. Right off the bat, you can see we have some windows at the front, because why not? Windows make it look less like a box and more like a place where you want to rest. Also have some very nice flowers planted, because again, why not? Doesn't have to look like a box in order to be a base. So we have our shelves. We have a couple of new plants in here. He put those down for me. Aren't they nice? He also put down the barrels. They're basically there for decoration, although they can be used for storage. As can the crates up top, which I placed, mainly for decoration. And this is where the house used to end. But now we go through here. We have more storage. We have a little loft. Now it's not perfect. When I lie down, I do kind of clip outside. I'll have to figure out if I can expand it or, I don't know, make it more born shaped. But for now it does, it works. I have an actual kitchen. So I'd like to thank him a whole lot for that. Don't have to go outside to cook anymore. Barrels to store food. Ah, just another little touch that I added. Some more plants on a little shelf. It looks nice. We got the back door. And we have our workbench. And we have two upgrades for the workbench. We have the chopping block and the tanning rack. We got some roses growing along the back. And yes, you did see. We built a dock. I don't even have a boat yet, and I already have a dock for it. So, all these barrels and stuff are mainly just decoration, but again, extra storage. Go down here. And now he did the basic layout for this. And I put up most of the roof and stuff. I chose the railings because it just looks like a real dock now. And that's where the boat will go when I have one. It's mostly secure. There are a couple of yellow spots in it. It'll get reinforced as I get better materials, or at least he assures me it will. But yep, yeah, there's a dock. Bigger house. A uh, log to sit on and just look at the water. Some flat land that I can use for expanding crafting stations. Maybe put a little garden in or maybe I'll put the garden up front. Who knows? Uh, he says that this is for my mead barrel barrels. Mead barrels <laughs> when I can have them. And storage for meat supplies. Maybe I'll put a little garden along the side here. Who knows? And of course, you know, you, you can't have a house without an outhouse. So, we have that. The funny thing is that the seat actually works. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, now that we're done looking at all that, Point, I'm going to want to put up some sort of a barrier, but for now it's fine. And as you can see, 
is a nice big place for the smoke to exit the house so I don't asphyxiate myself again because that's already happened. Go do a little exploring, shall we? Ah. Still not quite fast enough to keep up with the deer. I should have probably pulled out my bow for that, but I didn't. So have we explored this far? I don't know, have we? Well, we know that that's part of the black forest so it doesn't we've kind of explored a little bit but let's go further we do want to get some more wood I don't know why I'm getting the stone we have a ton of stone okay we have almost three stacks of it so far get out of my way We wanted to go see what's this way. It's probably more the Black Forest if I'm... Maybe not? Maybe not? I don't know. Well, I know that way is definitely Black Forest. Offer item. I wonder what I could offer to get him to come out. Maybe some deer meat? That would probably be quite insulting considering he's a deer. Although it would certainly seem to me it would guarantee he'd come out. Lots of fallen logs here. <laughs> it's almost a... Yeah, it, it considers this shelter. Amazing. Lots of fallen logs here. Might have to come here and gather some more wood. Lots of tree stumps. What's that ahead? Mountains? Am I that close to some mountains? I probably don't want to go much further than I heard that you can freeze to death. Real quick in the mountains. Wow. Okay. But it's good to know that they're there. Maybe I should mark that on the map. Although I guess you can kind of see it on the map already, huh?
Okay. Well, we kind of gave it a mark so we have a general knowledge of where they are. Candy lions. Any bees in here? Maybe? Is there a beehive in here? but I should probably eat some more berries. I don't see any bees, but I see a chest. Let's see what we got. Oh, another uh, porch. We could use that. Bit of resin. Not much else. Okay. Although this might be a good little base to set up near the mountains. What's this one? because it is right near where the mountain is. Uh, we'll put that up. Base. And just a question mark. Alright. So. Very pretty, isn't it? Very cold looking, too. I'm pretty sure I am not appropriately geared to go out there. Oh, lots of dandelions. I'll take those. What to offer? I'm Let's see, where am I? Head back to the tent base. We're practicing running. I was told to do that. Practice running, practice jumping. Because the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it's actually very useful. At least that's what I was told. And I can imagine the running is going to be pretty useful. is here somewhere. There it is, over there. Looks like it's still holding up. Now 
we won't sleep in the bed, of course, because we don't want to reset our spawn point. It's amazing. All it took was to get this to work was this little bitty roof over it. that in there. And see, I, I, I don't know. I mean, what do you offer him to get him to show up? If he's a deer, then I would think the best way to get him to show up would be to give him something deer related which would probably piss him off I don't know I'm debating of course I want to wait until the next day to do this but we might do a little other exploring The more I think about it, yeah, that's probably going to be what triggers him. I do mean that quite literally, because if somebody put, put the head of my relative in front of me, I would probably be pretty pissed off too. We're just wandering around until daybreak. That's what we're doing. Of course, am I ready? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out if I die. Oh, if I die, I should probably put some stuff away before I try this, huh? That way, if I die, it's not a huge loss. Maybe I should make some extra weapons, too. Ooh. Maybe I should go back to my other base then. That's a good idea. I should make some extra weapons, and I should probably have extra armor too. Just in case. Okay. That way if I die, I can re-don some gear. And I won't, like, be completely helpless when I go after my body. Thank you. Um, come here. Come here, Wood. That's what cool. Feel cold? No kidding. I, I'm 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 outside. I I might feel a tiny little bit cold.
<laughs> That's right. You really did not want to do that. arrow back. Look like I can get that one back. Oh well. You find lots of birds at night. Wow. Okay. I got a couple. Away, so we save it. Put that stuff in here. That away. That away. We have quite a few feathers at the moment. That's good. Where is... Nope. Nope. It says empty. Why did I open it if it says empty? Cool. Okay. this put that up yeah yeah I know you're out there all right so let's see what we got upgrade can we upgrade anything? We could upgrade the bow. That's a good start. We can upgrade the knife. We can upgrade the spear. We can upgrade the shovel. Upgrade Odin's hammer. Cannot upgrade the armor because don't have any skeleton parts. Can't upgrade that any further without a tier 3 crafting station. No skeleton parts. Okay, the rest of it is like tier 3 or tier 3 and skeleton parts. Alright, but we want it to craft an extra set. So we'll craft another bow. We'll definitely craft another spear. Ah! We can make fire arrows. Another one of those. Now, we'll crowd, upgrade that again. Okay, 
we need a lot more. Okay, so we need some more foreskin to upgrade that. A lot more boar skin to upgrade things. Okay. We are going to go ahead and put that. This. 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 Put those away. That way we have something. Nope. Nope. Where'd I put them? Nope. I thought I had them somewhere. Oh, right here. some boar out here. Right. Where are they? I need some boar skin. Come here, boar. Also need some deer hides, but that's not as easy as just telling them to show up. Oh, there's some boar. Right there. Come here. Oh, thank you for the raspberries. Oh, look at you acting all peaceful. I knew you weren't so peaceful. Definitely good space for if you want birds for feathers. Before we go wandering off again, maybe we should eat something. Four skins off of him and four meat. Nice. stuff away. Put 
that away until I'm ready to do some cooking. So, let me get this clear in my head. I need several more boar skin to upgrade a couple spare weapons and stuff. I need a lot more deer hide. One deer hide off of that one. Definitely good hunting ground. For this said he has 500 health yikes compared to the 87 I have from the food oh, oh. I feel like I'm gonna get stomped okay we definitely want to make another full set of gear to hunt boar, deer, and look for some skeletons. And watch out for trolls. Definitely watch out for trolls. <laughs> everything. Okay, I'm not quite grabbing everything. I did skip over that big pile of stone there. Boy, this is completely wrecked. We are definitely near the mountains. into a troll, isn't it? Isn't that where the trolls are in the mountains? I bet it is. Because I can very well sing. Because in Lotro, the trolls are quite often found in the mountains. 
the Misty Mountains, the Troll Shaws, which is a valley near mountains. Um, yeah. Okay. a boar over here. Oh, I see things chasing me from over there. that game. some butte parries. Um, is that like puke berries? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so definitely got the attention of some gray dwarves running around up there. What else did we get? Gray dwarf eye, some resin, Need some more berry, that'll help. It's a good thing I was fooded up that time. If I hadn't been, <laughs> that shaman would have taken me out. one. Oh, there's another... Is it a gray dwarf? Yes, it is. Oh, no, you come out here. I guess this is all black forest here then. Which means his shrine isn't that far from the black forest. Does that make sense? He's the first boss. Killing him should lead to the second biome. I still don't think I'm ready for the first boss. Yes, I did look him up. And yes, I know now that 
I was right about what I needed to, to to lure him. It is those deer trophies. But I also know that he's got 500 hit points and some massive skills and I am pretty sure I need a slightly better gear before I can even do that. hard to see in the woods, but hear it somewhere. I found boar. Not deer, but we need them too, so. hilarious and he was running with me on top of him for a second you can die too We're not ready yet. I know I wussed out. I'm sorry. But definitely want to get at least a second set of complete second set of armor and stuff ready. For the eventuality that I die and I have to gear back up and go back out and retrieve my body. Extras are always helpful. But in order to do that I need to hunt more things. Here are pigs. Where are the pigs? Fighting those gray dwarves was fun. Especially the shaman. Even though he was, like, spitting poison and stuff at me. It was funny. Oh, mushrooms. We'll take those. Considering we rarely ever find them. I know, I probably walked over a bunch of them and didn't see them. They're kind of difficult to see. But I will not use... I know that there's a mod that actually, like, makes all the ground cover disappear so you can see things like mushrooms. I don't want to use that. I want to actually have to find them. When you do something like that, you kind of put the game on easy mode, and that's not fun. 
need to go this way. Come on. Am I going enough this way? No, no, I need to go that way. Like, way that way. Look! Look, you can see my skeleton where I died. I died from asphyxiation. That was funny. I'm sitting there, I'm just standing there cooking my food, minding my business, and all of a sudden I'm dead. I'm like, what? And I look down and it, I died from the fire. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I know I've died from standing in the fire before, but not standing by the fire. And I realized it was too smoky. And I was like, oh. So yeah. Make sure if you have a, a fire pit under a roof that you give it adequate room to breathe or else it'll kill you. Huh. Neat. Oh wait, what's this? Have we been here? I feel like we have. Maybe not. There's a chest in there. Oh, we're inside. No, we haven't. Okay. Oh, shoot, we're running out of space here. Alright, we'll trade the flint for the stone. Where are we? Our base is like way over there somewhere. I hear that bird. I know he just scared a deer off. Which means there's deer to be had in here. Well, I know where to go hunting next. Look at all the seagulls. No, I could eat another bite, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be stupid and just run back to my base. back at the base. You can see what it looks like at night. I like it. I mean, it's definitely a step up from where it started. And of course, the dock's basic, but at least I have one now. And yes, the water does go way over the side of the dock when it's really stormy. And it probably goes all the way up to here and then back down. This is why we have kind of that set up and then when the ship is docked we can put a bar across that and hold it in place so it doesn't just drift off to sea. Ready. Yes, I know. I feel cold. Blah, blah, blah. I'll go inside if you insist. So, yeah. Um, definitely enjoying the upgrade. And, oh, yes. Whoever created the Build It mod, thank you. I love some of the little touches you added, especially things like the windows, because definitely need windows. And the little crates and stuff, I'm pretty sure that was also part of the Build It mod. 
really like them. So yeah, thank you for that. We'll go ahead and put this stuff away. And it looks like we're going to be doing some hunting so we can get enough gear set up to uh, go after the first boss. Because I definitely want extras, like I said, for the eventuality that I die. And I, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen at least once before I beat him. If not, like, I don't know, three, four, five times. Who knows? Put that stuff in here. Nope, nope. I want to put it up here. Nope. Where again am I putting this stuff then? In here. I'm putting all this oddball stuff in there. Oh, you hear it? You hear the storm? Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's see. Let's go watch the waters. Oh, I feel cold. I don't care. Look at the wa waves. See? Like I said, it does come up onto the dock, but that's okay. Okay, we got a couple spots that are definitely less secure than others. I know. Like I said, as we upgrade the materials we can get and our crafting, we will adapt that. At least we have the footprint of what the dock will look like when it's all complete. Look! They, it does go all the way up this. There's a fish down there. That's also good to know. That was probably a tuna. Okay, it goes all the way up to there at some point. Cool! so great. Look at that storm. Maybe I'll put a little, I don't know, kind of like a gazebo type thing over the log and then I can put a little fire here and then I can come out and watch the storms. All right, enough being a tourist. Let's go ahead and dry off. And next time, hopefully I will have gotten some hunting done and see about upgrading and making things and generally getting stronger in preparation for going after the first boss. Now that I know what I need to do to call him, until next time, bye for now.